Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we talk about how to beat Nubatama Dominate. This is probably the most requested how to beat video so far, so here goes. As always, I will first go over some of the typical cards they'll be using and abusing to give you some insight into the deck and then I'll go over some tips to deal with the deck in general. But first, a message from our sponsor. Sponsored by Royalty Playmat Designs, the perfect way to get a custom and exclusively for you design for your Vanguard playmats. Choose your units, choose some or no zones, choose a tagline, a team name, the name of your bunny, anything your heart desires at Royalty Playmat Designs. So getting right into it, first off I'd like to mention that this deck isn't that amazing. Lots of people are afraid of it because it's a new keyword and requires you to think about your game in a slightly different way than what you're used to. But overall the deck is nowhere near as aggressive or oppressive as ZTB, Battle Sisters or Blade Wings. For the people that somehow don't know what this deck does, Dominate is a new keyword that allows your opponent to essentially steal your rear guards and attack you with it. Overall I'd put it in tier 1.5 because we don't really see it topping much. It has a few top 8s and a few top 3s sprinkled in there, but if we look at VGCS results the deck barely tops after set 12. When we look at the lists, we see they run the 4 Dominate Shiranui obviously as the boss monster, accompanied by either the on right Dominate boy or way more frequently the 21k Beatstick boy. For grade 2s we have Sir Draw a Lot Dragon boy, Call from Drop boy, sometimes some 10k Vanillas to stop a possible rush and they will also be getting a new annoying piece of shit called Ungai in set 12, which can essentially nullify your defensive triggers when it's called. Some also use the new teddy bear, but Ungai is the real threat here. For great ones, we see Stride Fodder, Unflip PGs, and from there it's a huge fight for room because they have so many amazing great ones. Some people play the early game discard dragon, but most go for big columns with Sezui and Unflip from Tengai. And then you also have the new GB12 grade 1 and grade 2 that have a totally different skill, like I said, the teddy bear. Uh, for great zeros, we often see rainbow triggers because the stand can be used to rest for your grade 3 beat stick and then send it back to the deck for your draw. They also want to run crits and they also want to run draws. I see some builds running 8 crit 4 draw, but uh, a lot basically play rainbow triggers. So don't necessarily assume they will be playing rainbow triggers, but it's a definite possibility. As for strides, they have the typical big ones, Magun Tenbu, Mujin Lord and the new Vanguard Stealer. Also remember that they have a G guard that can steal a back row unit and use to guard so make sure you don't lose super necessary pieces because of carelessness. Overall the deck just focuses on giving your rears power, dominating stuff, drawing because they dominate stuff, attacking you with powered up dominated stuff and then giving their own units power because they dominated stuff. Now let's get into how to deal with the deck. Tactic 1. Their Vanguard Chiranui's skill allows them to call a unit from drop zone to your rearguard circle. The point of this skill is so they always have a unit to dominate even when you play a deck that wipes its own board like Nitros and Harry. This however can also be used against them. The skill does not specify open rearguard circle and you as a player can choose where to call it. So if you want to limit the amount of dominated attacks your opponent gets on for example his Mujin Lord turn, just call the new card on top of an existing rear guard you don't mind losing. This way you basically get rid of one attack already. This is especially handy if you no longer have a use for the rear guard you're calling over. For example, I often call the unit over Battle Siren Adelaide because she's only useful the turn I called her with her on call skill. Tactic 2. Make sure you guard early. Dominate decks do lots of smaller attacks, so if you guard early you can afford to take more damage later on in the game, giving you a higher chance of hitting a defensive trigger and this way possibly making them unable to hit or at least way easier to guard. Do keep in mind that in set 12 they also got a new bastard, Ungai. This card can turn any of your units into an 11k. So they can not only use this to make your useless rearguards hit, but they can also nullify a defensive trigger, meaning you don't want to hope for a defensive trigger from the attack that came from the on stride Shiranui skill, because they can easily call down Ungai, nullify the defensive and then go for Mujin Lord's onslaught of attacks. Tactic 3. Always nuke the shit out of Sir Draw a Lot Dragon Boy. This card nets them a ridiculous amount of advantage and you want him to disappear. The same goes for the giant grade 3 beat stick. This card helps them make your rear guards hit columns while simultaneously becoming gigantic and hard to guard. Also try to get rid of Furai when you can because it could try to swarm your board since it does state open rear guard circle. 
Tactic 4. Remember that Magun Tenbu, their usual first stride, dominates the rear guard, attacks with it, but afterwards kills it. So if you're in a situation where they're about to go for first stride, it's probably not a wise move to call one of your most important pieces if you can't afford to lose it. Tactic 5 and the last one, and this is the pretty obvious one, but they can't dominate resist units with cards like Magun Tenbu and Mujin Lord. So if you got some form of resist, use it wisely. For example, now that Kagero made its comeback, Dominate is hyped, now Ukami players get their support and Link Joker is getting a booster, I am running Skyros in my Aqua Force deck again. This is a huge kick in the nuts against Dominate players, because when they use their revival skill of Shiranui, I can simply call the unit to the front row, retire what was underneath, and now it just became a resist unit again. That was the video, I hope this was helpful to a lot of you. Like I said, unlike ZTB and Bladewing, this deck isn't as insane. It's good, don't get me wrong, but the odds aren't as badly against you as some of these tier 1 decks. So just practice against it, Think of these few tips and I'm sure you'll be fine. As always, subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel for more. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you want to see any other how to beat or any other type of video. Like the video if you liked the video and I will see you soon. Ciao!